All right, welcome back to The Hill here on News Nation. A story for both President Biden and Donald Trump to tell. The president has drawn dead even with Trump in a new national poll, but the former president also maintains a stronger position in all the crucial swing states. Steyerwalt here to break it all down. Chris. Okay, this is the good stuff. This is the, the uh, I guess since it's in Wisconsin, we should say this is a very fresh bratwurst. Mm -hmm. This is the this is the freshest brat. Spotted cow. Uh, oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, latest poll from uh, Marquette University Law School. They do a nice job. And what is it? It's a tie. But what was it in November? Ah, uh, yes, it was a substantial advantage just outside the margin of error for Donald Trump. Uh, how come? What happened? How did Joe Biden get this race into a tie? And here's the answer. That's independent voters from then to now, from February to now, what has happened. And this represents, when you get down to it, almost a 25-point swing, net-net, for independents from Trump to Biden. And that's exactly what Joe Biden needs to make this horse race a horse race. But I hear you out there. I hear you saying, Chris, who cares about the national polls? It just comes down to the swing states. You and your bow tie, your fancy bow tie, you're talking about these national polls. What about the swing states? Well, we've got the primo stuff on swing states, too. This was a poll that was done for the Cook Political Report with Amy Walter, and there it is. Donald Trump does, in fact, lead substantially inside the margin of error, but still substantially in an average of all seven of the swing states. You add in RFK Jr. and others, and Trump's margin is even better. Okay, so we know that. Why do we care about the national polls? Here's why. This was the result of the national election in 2020. Joe Biden won by four and a half points. That's pretty good, right? That's, that's enough. How did he do when we look at the swing states? Throw the swing states in. His margin of victory in the swing states was one point. So here's what we're going to do, you and me, Mr. and Mrs. America. We're going to pay attention to those national polls because we don't get enough swing state polls. We just don't. We don't get enough swing state polls to know what's really going on. But we do know that as this election rolls forward for the next 20 whatever weeks, for the next two dozen weeks, here's what we know. The national polls will run ahead of the swing state polls by about four, three, four points. So Joe Biden needs to be leading in the national popular vote by three or four points to have a chance to win those swing states. They're swing states because they're less democratic than the rest of the country. It's a majority Democrat country, but these are the seven states that Democrats can win but sometimes don't. That's why, they, that's why we watch him so closely. So just remember that. Three or four points is what Biden needs nationally for him to be in contention to win re-election. Steyerwalt breaks it down. Did you hear that music in your ear? I know. I thought, I thought it was, they were trying I, to rush you off I was going to say it was like the Oscars yeah, were rapping no, no, there. They were going to play very, me very, off. You should have taken your trophy there. Um, <laughs> independence, Donald Trump. He's losing independence uh, over the last couple of months. Does that have anything to do with the trial? Yeah. I mean, the, so the, uh, I've made the tomato sizing analogy. If you were at, worked at a tomato farm yeah. and the tomatoes are coming down the conveyor belt, you can pluck off the big tomatoes first more easily. But as that conveyor belt rolls on, it's harder and harder to pluck off those little tomatoes. Those little tomatoes are, least, are less likely voters, and that means they're less partisan. They're more independent. So it'll, they will be the ones who will be making up their minds and deciding this election over the next 20 weeks. Yeah, but Chris, you often talk, and those polls bear this out, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we talk enough about within the margin of error. Right. When you use that terminology from a polling standpoint, what does that really mean? Does that mean that it's a, it could really be a tie or that the imperfection of the polling just means inherently it could be two to three points off? It means that if Joe Biden comes in at 50 percent, he could be as low as 47 or as high as 53. Right. Donald Trump. So you could. So a three point margin of error means that it could be six points in either direction. But that's the middle of the probability. That's the most likely probability there. And the, the number one takeaway from this polling is Joe Biden's doing a lot better, right? Things have improved. The consistent improvement for him over the last several weeks is the race comes into focus and Americans remember that Donald Trump is crazy. And they say, whoa, okay, I, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. But the truth for Joe Biden is tide is not good enough for him. He needs, because of the way the Electoral College works, he needs to be ahead by three, four points to win. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.